Welcome to Charlotte Murder Speedway for the HTV Robo 400 to see who will be in and who will be out from the playoffs. Let's take a look at our starting grid. In row 1 we have Bobby Swift advance in Talladega and Lightning McQueen. In row 2 we have Phil Thingston that advance in Bristol and Cruz Ramirez. In row 3 we have Cal Weathers still trying to advance with Daniel Suarez looking for a win. In row 4 we have Brian Spark in the playoffs having a bad playoff season so far with Jackson Storm. In row 5 we have Manny Flywheel and coming out of retirement in 10th place which is Chick Hicks ready to try out the Roval and uh, let's take a look at the track. After you exit turn 12 from the Roval you will encounter turn 4 from the Oval these extra turns are called the bus stop. You must go in there so you don't get penalized. During a cautionary restart, you can only enter turn four from the oval. Here we go from Charlotte Green Flag. Bobby Swift is already taking the lead. And that's a really tight turn. More like all of them. Daniel Swervis is taking the lead already. And here's turn 13 that I was talking about earlier. And Jake Hicks is skipping the turn and he's getting black flagged. Lap 1 is already complete and Jake Hicks is ready to go. Side by side racing there and big crash in turn 1. Jake Hicks caused it and the caution comes out. The 28 has been involved. The 52 having a bad playoff season. The 28 has already advanced, so he's okay. And they can't get out of the turn. Here comes the safety team coming after them. And Jackson Storm is sitting there just because he has a huge amount of damage. Here's Manny Flywheel. And the race will be stopped in the back stretch. So it's another red flag. So this is the third one. Let's take a look at that. What just happened? Jake Hicks was the main cause of it. Or was it Phil Thankson? Here's Brian Spark being sent to the ambulance and sent to the medical center. And let's take a look at Daniel Suarez. And here's Phil Thankson being taken away. And Jackson Storm, he's getting towed. And the race will be back up to caution. And the cars are back up, following the pace car. Manny Flyer was heading the pits because he's done for the day. It's always Manny Flywheel involved in these crashes. Last week he flipped at Talladega. Now he's doing this again. And the lights are off the pace car and they're getting ready to restart. Here we go with two laps to go. Green flag. Daniel Swervis versus Bobby Swift. Manufacturer versus manufacturers. They're both the same manufacturer. I'm mean, sorry. Here they come from the tight turn. Cruz Ramirez trying to take the lead against Daniel Suarez. Light McQueen has already advanced, so he's okay. Because the officials already decided that he's he's already advanced. Here we go. One more time around. White flag. Cruz Ramirez trying to take the lead away from Daniel Suarez. And Jake Hicks is trying to skip the turn again. Coming out to the final turns. Who is it going to be? And it's Daniel Suarez gets his first Piston Cup win. And here he is doing the burnout. Congratulations for him winning. And it has been decided that Cruz Ramirez will advance from finishing second place.
here are the unofficial results. The race winner, Daniel Suarez, is the fastest car of the day. And we have some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that Brian Spark will be terminated. And the good news is that Cal Weathers advanced to the round of five. Here's a look at the playoff standings. The points have restarted, so we have Phil Thankson, Bobby Swift, Cruz Ramirez, and Lightning McQueen in the playoffs. And in the cutoff line, we have Cal Weathers. The round of five races are Las Vegas, Homestead, Miami, and Martinsville. And that's what I have for today. Give it a thumbs up. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe so you won't miss out on the round of five. This is the Candy Cat 27, signing off.